Good morning viewers and welcome to the channel. Uh, this week's video is on BHP. The heading is BHP sells more cold assets at better than expected prices. What is the company's next move? Um, yeah, you know, one more piece in the puzzle for BHP's uh, big long-term game plan here. Um, just a chart here, but I'll discuss it. So um, it sold the, the BHP Mitsui coal assets um, for certainly what looks like a pretty good headline price. Um, certainly better than what it would have been six months or a year ago, um, you know, taking advantage of, of elevated coal prices. Um, and really, it leaves only, at, l at least it looks like the, the only thermal coal asset uh, would be the um, New South Wales Energy Coal asset, um, expected to get a pretty decent price. But um, And um, these are all, of course, small small numbers, at least in the overall um, picture for BHP, which certainly the majority of its revenues and, and profits comes from copper and, and iron ore um, and, and oil and gas, at least until um, what's coming with its uh, demer sorry, effectively, effective demerger and, and sale into, um, into Woodside Petroleum. Um, the only asset that really will remain is its uh, metallurgical coal asset, um, the, um, uh, the BHP Mitsubishi Alliance, um, which is higher quality and likely to be... Um, you know, be in demand for lower carbon steel making. Um, and, you know, kind of we're starting to see the way BHP is going to look in the future. So I should I should have provided this. Um, you know, really a business that's going to be geared towards iron ore sales, which, you know, there's no doubt that that's going to remain um, a, a key focus for BHP over the long term. No matter what happens with, with decarbonisation, um, steel production will remain um, a big part of everything. Um, you know, even to, of course, build solar and wind um, uh, plants, you, you of course need steel. So there's, there's no doubt that that's going to remain um, a key focus for BHP in my view. Um, and of course, the question is, you know, how quickly can, can steel production um, decarbonize? Uh, but of course, copper, nickel are big focuses. We're seeing BHP um, fight, at, fight it out with Andrew Forrest for a Canadian uh, nickel, a prospective nickel miner and um, in, in Canada, uh, which would open up a you know a new uh, nickel province and would require significant infrastructure spend um, to get that nickel and you know potential future nickel deposits to market. But it shows the um, exactly the way BHP is moving. Um, uh, Potash is, is of course another one that has made, made a big move into and committed a lot of capital. Um, and you know it's pretty clear that you're seeing a you know a green BHP. Um, you know, it's interesting to see criticism from some in the market saying that, you know, to really do the right thing on an ESG basis is to, you know, manage some of these dirty coal assets into um, into retirement. Um, but, you know, it's it, I don't think it's realistic for the BHP board to consider um, throwing money effectively down the drain when it can, of course, sell it to other companies like Stanmore Resources and they can then, if the market, you know, if the basics of of demand supply and and uh you know uh, and investors shunning um you know uh, ca carbon heavy producers such as stanmore w works out then stanmore of course and others like it will not get the support of investors and lenders in the future but bhp is doing the right thing and that they are moving themselves to um a far cleaner uh company and uh, you know i think it's going to get its esg rating by by the market over time um and you know, kind of ensure it remains the the premier um, mining company. Uh, you know, on any investor's lips. Um, sorry, I should, yeah, and I just should say, kind of the chart here, kind of doesn't I think really reflect its long term future. Which um, you know, I think with iron ore prices now at about ninety dollars, you know, I actually think we're, we're pretty good buying at these levels. But um, you know, I think this this outlook for the products that it sells, um, that it that mines is going to remain very bright um, once it uh, sells its its oil and gas assets it's to Woodside Petroleum. Of course, BHP shareholders will then have the the right to sell uh, the shares it gets in Woodside. And um, you know the company exposed purely to iron ore, copper, nickel, um, and potash, I think, is going to offer a pretty bright future. And they have the the highest quality assets exposed to those commodities. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Thank you for tuning in, and um, I'll be back next week with a new video. Oh, and I should say, if you did like the video, please click like and subscribe.